Hello everyone, welcome to Out of the Box. Today we're looking at something a little different, a little exciting, and a little weird all at the same time. Because today we're looking at Zendikar Rising Set Boosters. These only contain 12 playable cards, but there's guaranteed foils in every pack, and a chance of getting four freaking rares. So... I'm going to shut this light off that's behind my head, and then we're going to look at these packs. There we go. Now you're not staring straight into the sun. Okay, so this only contains 30 packs compared to 36. But like I said, you've got a guaranteed foil in every pack. And you also get me being confused and trying to find my trash bag. Uh, you also get a chance at multiple rares. Um, and there's a curated list of cards that you can get as well. But also, um, I'm going to open it up first for getting this box of cards. I actually got a Zendikar Rising Expedition box topper. It's not going to be foil, but that is perfectly fine with me. So let's see what this is before we do anything else. Is I got what? I got Valakut. I, I got a freaking card. That's in Zendikar Rising, I do believe, as my expedition. I don't know what to say to that. I honestly don't. So, just like what we usually do, I'm going to mainly show off the commons, or the uh, rares and rares mythics foils. I am going to show off cards in the list. But I'm also going to show off one booster pack, definitely, so this way you can see how it's curated. And we will, hopefully, get some really, really good stuff. It's, it's technically a 12-card booster, but there's actually 14 cards in here. Because you get an art card in every pack. And this looks actually like a Plains. Uh, it's a planes. They're actually labeled on the back. So, you get a basic land, definitely. And then the next six cards are all cards, are supposed to be cards that like mesh together. And they can be any number of commons and uncommons. Like you could have all commons, no uncommons, all uncommons, no commons, or just some mix. It just happened to be that I got four commons and two uncommons in that slot. Then after that, I think you're always guaranteed a showcase card. And then you just get two of something. You get a rare, and then you get a foil. And I pulled a freaking foil borderless Nessa in my first pack. <laughs> wow. Wow. Right off the bat, <laughs> I would check to see if it's, you know, I would check after the video to see if, um, if the box is worth it. I, it's already worth it because I like Nissa, so it's like, I just got her foil borderless version. Why, why don't, why don't we just make me excited? All right. Unfortunately, I can see the back. I can see the card back in the back of the booster, so I'll know if I get a... Uh, oh, snap! I actually got a gold-stamped signature card. This is of Anawan the Ruined Thief. Now we're going to go through here see what I get for uh, rares and foils. It looks like we got a two-rare two pack who's got a Myriad Construct. Oh, never mind. And we got a foil scale, scale the heights. Wow. I'm already like, 
See, the reason why I got this instead of a regular box is because I'm a commander player. I don't play standard. So, I have no reason to buy, or I have no reason to crack open a whole bunch of packs. And here's another art card. And we got a Yasharn Implacable, Implacable Earth, I guess it's called. And we got a foil into the royal. A foil royal, I guess. Is the, <laughs> I guess. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I'm full of chocolate. <laughs> This card, this pack doesn't have a list on it. And here's more of that fun stuff. My basic land isn't foil. We got, hey, we got Lotus Cobra. Regular Lotus Cobra. And a foil pressure point. So, so far, I mean... So far, I'm only doing like one rare in a pack, which is fine. Well, I like that art. That is cool art. Uh, let's see here. Go into the oh, this is a this is definitely a multi rare booster. Uh, Nighthawk Scavenger, a Rolling Vortex, which is another rare. And a foil rare Scoot Swarm. <laughs> this card is going to be... I, I honestly predict that this card is going to be banned. With some of the stuff that I've seen it do in Arena. I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. Scoot Swarm will be banned. Okay, I got a list card. I can see it. You can tell because it's the one... It's the card in the back. But we're not going to... Oh, I love it. Nissa. And I got a foil plant. I got a foil island. And going through here, I got an undo inversion. My foil is Vanquish the Weak. And my list card is Drift of Phantasms from the original Ravnica set. Nice. Pretty good so far. Pretty, pretty good. All right. I do like these. I do like these cards. All right. And we got another two rare pack. We got a Linvala and we got a Borderless Nahiri. And a foil adventure awaits. Whew. I just got both. I just got two of the three planeswalkers that are in the set in borderless. One's also in foil. So we are looking at Monet, I think, at this point. Our card. And okay, we've got a. Needle Verge Pathway is uh, is one rare. Second rare is an Angel of Destiny. And our foil is Ardent Electromancer. So far we are so far I'm I'm even if these cards are not money, like I don't care. I can actually find use for most of the cards that I'm getting. I don't know which way this is supposed to go. <laughs> uh, here we go. A Seagate Restoration. What do you do? Draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand plus one. You have no max hand size for the rest of the game. Nice. And I got a Foil Showcase Brush Fire Elemental. Nice. <laughs> A 
a foil showcase brush fire elemental. Okay, this is pack 10. I got another list card. We will show that off last, like, like I've been saying before. And here we go. We got an inscription of abundance. Our foil is a showcase Skyclave squid. And our list card is something I cannot read. Pegasus Stampede. All right, so far the math is on point. I've gone through 10 packs and I've gotten two list cards when I should be averaging about six. I'm a numbers guy, can't you tell? Oh, we got another uh, full gold stamped art card. And here's a rare. It's a showcase Morog Fury of a Coombe. Our next one is an Undo Inversion. And then our foil is a Showcase Territorial Sky Beast? Sky... Scythe Cat. Meow. And a list of all the expeditions. Alright. Moving on. This has a list card. There is the art. I'm not getting too many foil basic or foil basics. I mean, you're not guaranteed. Okay, so we've got Orin Reef Ooze. There's that. We've got a foil glacial grasp. There's that. And our list card is a thought vessel. Nice. Gonna keep showing these off. All right, and rares, rares, rares. Lithoform engine, what do you do? Oh, you copy things. Lithoform engine. And a foil kite sail cleric. Well, I can tell you my rares and my foils are definitely not duplicating. I actually haven't gotten any check or any of the uh, checklist checklist cards, but I tend to play with sleeves anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Here we have a coveted prize. This is definitely a multi rare pack. We have a no priest of oblivion. And we have a foil shell shield. This has a list card. There's my pitch. There's my art card. All right. And... We have an Akiri Fearless Voyager. There's that. We have a Foil Territorial Scythe Cat. And our list card is... Chulain Teller of Tales. Wasn't this a recent... It's an Eldraine Commander card. I believe this is actually from one of the Brawl decks. This is from one of the Brawl decks. Now I know how Joey Moss feels. <laughs> Foil Mountain.
We got a branch loft pathway. That's the green black land. We got a foil rare, a relic robber. And that's a token. An Eldrain card. I mean, Joey Moss got a Theros Beyond Death card, but still. That's really weird to have recent, recent sets in, in there. You know? Like the card, the, it hasn't even, the card hasn't even rotated yet. A Tabarax. A Foil Feed the Swarm. And that's it. Well, I got another list card. Please be good. <laughs> There's actually a card my friend Tyler hopes I get, and that's Cruel Tutor. It was out of Portal. Yeah, Cruel Tutor was out of Portal. All right, we've got ourselves a Shatter Skull Charger. This is definitely... All right, and we've got a Deliberate. Scry Tooth and Draw a card. And our list card is... Nezumi Grave Robber into Night Eyes the Desecrator. It's a Kamigawa flip card. <laughs> that is cool. I did not expect that. Did not expect flips. Oh, wow. Okay, this is actually the first part of my booster pack was all in commons. The first six cards were all in common. And then we get a Nighthawk Scavenger, a Foil Stonework Pack Beast, and a Plant Token. Well, I got, I finally, I can say I got a pack that had only uncommons and no commons. Well, only uncommons in the first part. That's pretty cool art there, too. But I'm still looking for that elusive four rare pack. And this ain't it. Inscription of Abundance. And a foil Tazim Royal Mage. So I've just gone through 20 packs. And I still have 10 more to go. And we have Ora. Skyclave Hierophant. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Ora. And a Foil Chilling Trap. What do you do? Target creature gets neg 4, neg 0 oh until end of turn. If you control a wizard, draw a card. Pretty good. There we go. He's hungry. We've got a Throne of McKindy. Tap to add a colorless. One and tap, put a charge counter on it. Tap, remove a charge counter. Add two mana of any one color. Spend this only to play kick spells. All right. And a foil mind drain. We got another list card. I wonder if Mana Volt's on the list. Hey, a Nahiri. And a Foil Plains. A Zareth San, the Trickster. This guy pretty much has Ninjutsu. A Foil Bubble Snare. And it's red. Brothers Yamazaki. 
The first legendary creature to break the legend rule because you were allowed to run two. <laughs> As we reach the 20 minute mark on this video, hope you guys don't mind. Cause that is what out of the box, out of the box do, what out of the box do. Master of Winds and a foil disenchant. Okay, disenchant. <laughs> Here we go. And another Orin Reef Ooze. I mean, we were two rares. Tajuru Paragon. And a foil blood price. Kind of got excited, was hoping for three rares. I don't think we actually pulled a three rare booster, but we've gotten pretty close. Oh, I like that one. A uh, Shatter Skull Charger. A Foil Attended Healer. By the way, I do... I'm going to say this right now. I do... Like I said, I'm, I'm a Commander player. I'm not a Standard player. I'm not a Modern player. So, I'm pro so if, as long as these continue, I'm going to only get these. Because I honestly have no reason whatsoever to get regular booster packs. Nahiri's Lithoforming. And a Foil Spare Supplies. Alright. We've got... How many packs do we have left? We have three packs left. Oh, I know that's Omnath. That is definitely Omnath. A full art, no, a borderless bright climb pathway, the white black duel. I call them duels, I don't care. A foil angel of destiny. This is actually my second one of those. I actually pulled one in my, uh, or the, the bright, the land. I actually pulled one in my freaking pre release pack. Full art, like that. We got a list card. There's Jace the Mirror Mage. And there's a Foil Forest. And here's a Nimble Trap Finder. And here is an Inscriptions of Ruin. And here is a Full Art Sneaking Guide. And my list card is Wayfarer's Bobble. <coughs> Holy crap! Last pack. Another aura. And a foil Nimana Sky Dancer. There you have it. It's like, and a Goblin Construct token because I wanted to show that off. What do you? What is a Goblin Construct? Zero one can't block at the beginning of your upkeep. This creature deals one damage. Hmm, okay. So yeah, there you go. That is a set booster box. Wow. I don't know what to say other than I'm getting more of these. Like even. I might not get another set booster box of Zendikar Rising. I'm full of crap. I'm probably going to. But wow. 
that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.